guys and welcome back to a, another video if this is your first time seeing my face my name is Nisha and if you are returning subby thank you so much for clicking on this video today's video is going to be a little bit different um I know that I normally do mommy Monday motivation I kind of took some time off during vlogmas and then we had COVID and um some things happened in um my life and I kind of shared that with you guys on a vlog and then I talked about the COVID thing and then with my son. Um, and I just kind of felt like it was time. So if you guys have no idea what I'm talking about from the title, basically, um, I felt like it was time for me to invest in my mental health. Oftentimes when we talk about self-care, we talk about, you know, the makeup, the hair, the toes, the hands, the, you know, the dressing, which that's part of it. Um, you know, physically, but we kind of sometimes lack on our mental health, especially I feel like as a mom. Sometimes, you know, we go through postpartum depression, postpartum anxiety. Um, we just, you know, face different challenges and we kind of don't talk to people about it. Um, if we do talk to people, sometimes we talk to, you know, our family members or our spouse. And for me, that's what I did. I talked to my husband about it. Um, I talked to mutual friends about it, but I kind of felt like I didn't want to keep burdening burdening them and then also I wanted an unbiased opinion on certain topics in my life to just make sure it wasn't me in my head you know um I wanted somebody who can professionally be like girl that ain't it or just maybe not even like that just maybe um who can say you know maybe you overreacted in that situation but suggest other ways of handling it um I also was looking for someone like I said who wasn't biased someone who could understand where I was coming from as a woman, as a black woman, um, as a wife, because I feel like, you know, you face different challenges. Um, so um, saying all that to say, I'm officially in therapy. Yay, me. So I think, you know, let's backtrack. So I think in our black, in the black community or in black families, there's this stigma that um, we don't go to therapy. We go to talk to Jesus about it. And I think that's true. Um, but I also feel like God blessed people to be able to professionally help with certain issues or just venting or just learning how to cope and deal with situations that there's nothing wrong. You can have both. Um, I feel like for me, I felt like I couldn't have both. Like I only needed Jesus and I do, but also having, um, someone to talk through my issues and my problems and even things that, you know, as we grow older, we kind of push down you know things like that so um for me I wanted to kind of um change that stigma um I have an older sister and I'm sure she wouldn't mind me sharing this who was also um in therapy and she spoke very highly of therapy so I know when I was looking into it the first thing this is what happened okay so everything that was going on in my life at the time I had just I just turned 30 we just came last year I felt like wasn't as bad as it was for a lot of people, but with COVID, um, with having a new baby and everything, I just kind of felt like, oh my God, what am I doing with my life? Like, who am I, you know? So I remember literally the day, two days after my the incident with my son happened at the beach, which I'll leave that so you guys can find out all the details. I was up early and I was crying and I was praying to God and I'm just like, I feel like this is my fault. You know, like, it's just a lot. I just felt very heavy. And I was praying and I was crying and I was on Instagram and I was scrolling through and I saw another influencer um, who's an influencer photographer. So she takes pictures for influencers. And she had mentioned that she had just went through a hard time with the loss of her father and, you know, the holidays and COVID and everything. And she said that she was seeking counsel. So there's this thing called um, Therapy for Black Women, which I did check that out. But if you guys know, therapy could be kind of expensive. Um, but she also mentioned this other thing called open, open path or something like that. So I checked it out and it basically, um, offers affordable therapy for people who need therapy, but can't afford to spend 150 to 200 per session. Right. So especially during these COVID times, you know, everybody, people are losing their jobs, their homes, everything. So anyways, so I went on there and it gives you a list of, you can put in like your zip code and it gives you a list of therapist in the area so I put in my zip code and I found um and then it tells you you know you can look by sex or sex or gender you can look by race you can look by experience you can look by 
I think anything. Um, so that's where I went to find my therapist. I love my therapist. Um, she's very flexible. So just to let you guys know, if you guys are in the market, in the market, <laughs> if you guys are looking for a therapist, um, she's my therapist is very flexible. So you depending on your need, um, you can go weekly, you can go bi weekly, you can go monthly. Um, I don't think you can go annually, that would kind of defeat the purpose. But um, yeah, so with speaking to my sister, seeing the influencer, I kind of felt like, okay, this is something I need to really do. I need to get these things out of my head. Um, I find that I am a huge overthinker, which leads to my anxiety. And um, I've never had an anxiety. To, no, I'm lying. I generally have it when I'm in the car. And the reason why is because I have this huge fear of being in like a fatal accident, which I don't know if other people fear this, but for me, I freak out. So when I'm driving, I'm fine. When I'm on the passenger side seat, that's where it just, oh my God. So anyways, um, my anxiety and everything and overthinking, overanalyzing things over the years, I just realized, okay, Nisha, you always in your head. So having a therapist for me has, we've thus far had two sessions. Um, I'm looking forward to continually to talk to her. I freaking love my therapist. Um, but yeah, I kind of wanted to share with you guys to just encourage women, um, men, black, white, Puerto Rican, Asian, whatever you are, big, fat, like mom, dad, no parent at all, just to encourage people that, um, my sister said a quote yesterday and I thought it was very, very good. I'm gonna put it on the screen if I misquote it, but I think I quoted it right. She said, we go to therapy for people who won't go to therapy. And I was just like, that is so the truth because it's like, it, it really helps you for other people who won't go. Like, um, it just helps you become a better person, better communicator. Um, you know, it's not that it's easy. I feel like therapy should challenge you because, you know, they, as you're communicating and telling your story or speaking about your grievances or speaking about your challenges or your victories, it could be accountability. For me, also, my therapist is offering me accountability because like I said, I was in this in this ordeal of trying to find myself and um we kind of talked about some of my goals that i have set and you guys know that i'm in school finishing up my bachelor's degree i have six more classes guys six more classes um for my bachelor's as you guys know um i finished my associates about a year and a half ago and i took you guys with me for graduation and everything but yeah so she holds accountability um being able to vent like i said for me I don't want to keep putting it on my husband, putting it on my friends, putting it on my family, kind of just having a professional standpoint to be like, okay, you got that out. Now this is how we can go about making it better. Or when this happens, it may be a trigger. Don't do this instead of this. Um, you know, how does that make you feel? And then just, you know, why do you feel this way? Just get to the root of some issues and some things and some strengths, finding your strengths and your weaknesses. Um, also with counseling, you know, there's so many different types of therapy. Um, there's couples therapy, there's individual therapy, there's singles therapy, there's kids therapy, there's traumatic grievance, there's, but you know, another thing, and I'm going to kind of wrap it all up with this. I was talking to my husband and I was just like, I feel really good this week. Like, should I even, you know, have this therapy session with him? I mean, with her. And one thing that he was saying, which I agree is, it's like going to God in a sense. You don't only want to go to God when something's wrong. Or as a parent, you don't only want your child to come to you when they like something's wrong or when they need you. You want them to always continue to have a relationship and build, um, you know, build that relationship, that companionship. So I feel like it's the same thing with therapy. And for me, like, yeah, maybe some weeks I had a great week. Nothing happened. You know, it was just, you know, positivity or some weeks eh, it could have been better. Or some weeks are like freaking horrible. I need her now. So um, there's no wrong or right time to go. If you guys yourself have been in therapy or considered therapy, let me know down in the comments. Um, if you guys, you know, want to reach out to me and kind of, you know, figure out my process, then I'll definitely let you guys know. Um, I just basically want to come on here to let you guys know that I'm in therapy. And if you can afford it and if you can do it, you should too. Because, you know, it helps to have somebody that you can talk to. It helps some 
you know, I feel like it's self-care and you're bettering yourself at the end of the day. You're becoming a better woman, a better man, a better mother, a better father, a better spouse, a better daughter, a son, you know, a better person, a better human. And I feel like, you know, the world, that's what the world needs. Maybe folk won't be so crazy if they had somebody to talk to, somebody who was on their side. Um, so yeah, that pretty much wraps up my my inspirational self-care therapy session um that i feel that you guys can all we can all benefit from um so if you guys have any questions concerns um or whatever go ahead and leave them down in the comments um if you too are seeking therapy then good luck with your journey and if you have are in therapy and you felt like your therapist was like judging you or was being biased then i would suggest you get a different one there's so many out there um, so I will catch you guys on the next video.